Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra, and today I have kind of a different video for you. If you've been following me for a while, you may know that I am a co-host on the show Buy or DIY, and they're actually letting me share an episode with you today on my channel. It is the home of beautiful Alyssa Garrison. She's at Random Acts of Pastel on Instagram, and Danny and I went into her space to give her a brand new chandelier. I have been a fan of Alyssa for so long. I love her style. She's just a cool human. Take a look at the episode and when you're done, head over to Coral's channel to watch the entire series. We have a new episode going up every Thursday at three until the end of December, but this is the internet, so if you're watching this in five years, the playlist will still be linked somewhere here. Now, without further ado, let's roll the tape. On today's episode of Buy or DIY, we're helping our friend Alyssa find a gorgeous new chandelier for her office. We're here to match her pastel personality and give her a little color in life. I'm going to find the perfect buy. Look at this light. Perfect. And I'm going to find a solution with the DIY. We're going to make loud noises now. Ta-da. At the end, Alyssa is going to pick which one she likes best. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> this is Buy or DIY. Hey Danny, hey Alexandra, I'm Alyssa from Random Acts Pastel, a colorful pastel lifestyle vlog here in Toronto, and I need your help. I have redecorated my whole apartment room by room, and there's fun colorful touches all over my space, but for some reason my office light fixture is so sad and boring. And I want to do something fun and colorful like everything else in the room, because I think light fixtures are such an important part of a room. My style is kind of colorful, rainbow, modern, but also a little bit boho. I got a lot of pinatas and stuff going, and I would love to see what you guys could do in this room. I'm thinking something with fringe, tassels, gold. My budget's $350, and I can't wait to see what you guys can do. Her space is amazing. Oh my god, did you see her living room? And all her other chandeliers, they're beautiful. I can't wait to DIY something for this space. I'm like, I'm freaking out. No, right? Yeah. I feel like Alyssa and I are kindred decor spirits. Well, you're already wearing pom-pom necklace. <laughs> Hindered decor spirits for sure. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> but guys, before we get this challenge started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to show us your support. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification because we have a new episode coming every Thursday and you don't want to miss out. You really don't. Well, I'm going to go. I have a chandelier to make, so I'm going to leave you. And uh, good luck. Well, I have a nap to take, so I'll be here for, you know, a few hours. See ya. In Alyssa's world, there's no such thing as too much color. We're doing her office. This is a big deal. Here's what I'm thinking. I want to give Alyssa a beautiful fringe chandelier. This is going to be complete with a retro looking lamp, beautiful pink fringe because it's got to be pink. And I'm going to give it a more glamorous look by adding this beautiful gold edge banding that's going to wrap around the top. I'm going to finish my look with a decorative ceiling molding that will help give this lamp a beautiful vintage look. But to make the chandelier, I'm gonna need some kind of retro lampshade, an awl and a hammer, gold spray paint, wax twine, embroidery hoops, some beautiful chainette fringe, some kind of decorative metal trim, and to bring it all together, I'm gonna source a beautiful ceiling molding. This is the mood board of my dreams. I'm so excited for this buy. I'm a huge fan of Alyssa and her style. And today I'm gonna to be on the hunt for a show-stopping chandelier for her office. Alyssa wanted something with fringe, but I'm thinking of going a little bit of a different route and finding something with on-trend tassels. And I also want the tassels to be ombre, which is why I've pulled these three shades of pink. I want it to go from dark to light. I really hope that this light is gonna pull her office together and just be that finishing touch to her fun space. All right, so the first thing we need to do to make our DIY fringe chandelier is have a light. I was going for a vintage look, but it's not the right color. It's gonna be gold soon. I have these wood embroidery hoops that are gonna be underneath, but I need to make holes through this lamp. We're gonna make loud noises now. That's one. Now we have three more. Making loud noises again. The last hole. Ta-da! It's time to spray paint. This says this is 18 karat gold. 
We'll see about that. It's not good to actually spray paint very close to the object that you're trying to cover. You actually want to do it in swift motions going across it and you want to stay at about a distance of maybe a foot. Okay, looks nice and gold. Let this dry. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. This place is amazing. I want them all. Seriously, I, I, I want them all. One thing to think about when shopping for a statement light is color. Is there an accent color that you want to pull out in your room like this? This is beautiful. Great for someone who has lots of gold in their space. That's really gonna tie it together. Oh my gosh. And look at this massive statement light here. This would look amazing above a dining room table. Light is so important over your dining table. You should not shy away from making it as big and bold as this one. Another thing to consider when it comes to your statement light is texture. Wow, this one is so cool. It looks like it's just woven with thread. And this one, this one's covered in feathers. That is so fun. Guys, look at this light. It's so perfect. I love how it has the different tiers. When you have a light that's tiered like this, it adds dimension. And if I can find something with tassels, it's all gonna cascade down and be that statement accent piece Alyssa is looking for in her office. All right, so my lamp is dry. Hello. Kind of looks like a UFO right now. And then this is like the little circles that it made in the grass. Anyways, let's keep going. First thing is I'm going to be threading this wax twine through the holes that are on my lamp. I'm gonna try to make these all hang about three inches apart from each other. I'm going to drill holes through. These holes are gonna to correspond to the holes that are on my lamp. I'm like in a constant state of like squat. My legs are starting to burn real bad. Moving on. Once I'm happy, I can tie it off and then we can move on to fringe. <gasps> Look at this light. It is so beautiful. I love how it has the different tiers. And can we just take a moment to... Yeah. If only these were tassels, it would be perfect. Perfect. What this is is called a chainette fringe. I also call it the flapper fringe. I'm running glue right on the lip, finding the inside of my fringe. Beautiful, darling. Your dress looks amazing. Pull cool up. I'm actually really interested to see what she goes for in her project because these lamps are not cheap. I don't know where you can get a cheap fringe chandelier that isn't over a thousand dollars. So good luck. Oh, it's so pretty. But what's gonna really take this to the next level is this gorgeous edge banding. What it's gonna do is come around here. You can almost even make this into a crown. One for me, one for you. If this isn't a crown for a winning piece, it's gonna win. I just scored the most amazing chandelier for Alyssa. It's got tassels, it's got pink, it's got ombre. It's got everything she's looking for. I can't wait until you see this. Ah, it's even more beautiful than I remember. Ah. It's reveal day. I I'm so excited. Woo! We're gonna light it up. <laughs> Hi, Hi guys, come on in. Thank Thanks. you. So happy to be here. I've noticed that you have these like beautiful chandeliers in every room of your home except this, this one. one. I know. I mean, I did every room in the office. It just felt like, oh, it's my creative space. Do I really need something? And I yes. kind of like fell to you the do. wayside. I know. And now it's, it's haunting well, me. Well, luckily, we have two chandeliers that are totally worthy of this space. So I hope you're ready. I'm so ready. OK, so put on this blindfold. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. I'm really, really stoked with this one. Let's go. Don't drop me. <laughs> Now, on the can of three, you're gonna take off your blindfold, okay? Guys, it's like Christmas. <laughs> I'm so excited for you to see this. One, two, three. Oh, they're so good! Oh my god, you guys. I am like blown away. <laughs> yeah. They're so good! Tell me everything about this now. <laughs> like, they're perfect. I'm like blown away. I need to know everything. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to explain my buy to help you better decide. Okay. 
You had originally said that you wanted something with fringe. But when I saw this chandelier with all the tassels, I just thought it was so you. I love how it has that ombre effect and it's just such a statement piece. It's gonna fit in with your colorful, beautiful space. I also picked something that was tiered just to give it more impact. I feel like the tassels just stand out that much more. I really feel like this is a piece when you walk into your office, it's like, wow. There's so much I love about this buy. I love all the colors. Like this almost has like a nice kind of fall palette to yeah. it with the peaches. I don't even, I wouldn't have put these colors together, but I like how it turned out so much. Obviously the gold is beautiful. It just, it has like that same tassel feel I was originally looking for, but it reinterpreted in a different way. And I, I really, really love how it turned out. I just want to like cuddle into right? it. You were like combing it. Yeah. Earlier. <laughs> I feel like it might have to get a, a little brushing yeah. every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. Speaking of impactful, why don't we come over to the DIY? Because I got a lot to say about this beauty. I can't wait to hear how you did this. This DIY was an absolute labor of love. I wanted to give you everything that you wanted. So I found this lamp and I painted it gold and incorporated beautiful gold edge banding with this awesome pink fringe. I love the color. I think it's absolutely color. gorgeous. Exactly matches my nails. <laughs> and I realized it actually matches my shirt today. Oh, so I feel like I'm going for the win. The <laughs> but I know you have very impactful chandeliers in every room, so I wanted to bring a little bit of elegance with a little bit of fun flair. Then to tie in the elegance, I know that your eye is naturally gonna be drawn up, so what I wanted to do was give you this beautiful ceiling molding that's gonna just make it feel so complete, so beautiful, so elegant, but it goes with the space, fun. Yeah. So I'm tying two worlds together, and I hope I did your <laughs> You really did. This is amazing. It has such a great kind of like 70s vibe to it, but you're yeah. right, still elegant. Like it's a great mix of fun and classic yeah. and totally. I don't know how I'm ever gonna decide. It's so scary. <laughs> okay, take it in, girl. Oh, the beautiful so chandeliers. <laughs> you got molding Fringe. elegance and along you have on. Trendy tassels. Trendy tassels. Oh, good one. Beautiful fringe. Okay. So there's no wrong answer. It feels like there's no right answer. Yes, <laughs> I want the phone. You do have to pick one though. I know. And the time has come to make that decision. Are you okay. going to buy or, or are you going to DIY? DIY. <laughs> I think I'm going to buy. <laughs> Good decision. I just love the way the colors ombre down. No. And it really like the combination really captures me. I feel you, girl. I I love this lamp. When she pulled it out, I'm like, I'm doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed kind of a different episode on this channel. Make sure you head over to Coral, subscribe to their channel so you don't miss any new episodes of Buy or DIY. And comment down below, did you love Alyssa's space? Or did you love Alyssa's space? Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.